Hey everybody, this is Randy the Mobile Traveler. <laughs> Hope this video finds you well. Sitting next to me is Susan, aka Joni. Joni's her name. You know what, when I did the video and called her Susan, I just didn't want people harassing her. So to protect her anonymity, her anonymity, I called her Susan. Heck, she didn't even know I was going to do it. So let's talk about the fail. I came up here to try to fix her rig. Can't do it. Where it's sitting is in a gully. And that gully gets very muddy, rains every day. I can't do it. You suck! It's not a cracked head or blown head gasket, it's a cracked head. That's a lot of work to try to fix. And a lot of money. She has a 2002 Four Winds Camper. It's a Class C. And it's not worth putting in $8,000 into that camper. The camper's not worth it. So it would take definitely eight, probably about 8000 if I was to do the work. And that would take me, I used to say a month of Sundays, it would take me two months of Sundays. I have no place to do it. If I had a place, yeah, I could do it. But where it's at, there's no way. Yeah, I guess you could say I failed. Damn! I really thought I could do it. Anyway, uh, let's talk to Joni a little bit. I'd like you guys to, to and let's, let's hear a little bit of her story, okay? When you're on disability, I understand it's hard to make ends meet. Yes. So, is that why you became nomadic? Yes. Is because, you want to explain that a little bit? I couldn't afford where I was living. You couldn't afford to rent? No. Let me guess, Bob Wells. <laughs> He was the first person I saw in this world. Yeah. Cheap RV living just kind of pops up there when you least expect it. Yep. I had never heard of it before. You never heard of it and all of a sudden it's here. I had never heard of being able to live out here and be on BLM land and save money. Well, it's a lot cheaper to live. Yeah. Much cheaper. So. How long have you been on the road then? October will be two years. So almost two years. Mm -hmm. And you've been broke down here in, for almost five months. Yes. Trust me, I thought long and hard before I opted to come out here, but I really thought that a slight chance I could fix that thing. Damn! A slight chance I could fix that thing. My apologies to you, Joan. I appreciate the effort. We tried, right, guys? We tried. You suck! Oh, so what I'm going to do now for family her family started to go fund me and I am going to put that link to the GoFundMe in my video in the, in the description. That's the only way I can help her right now. I've done everything else I could do. So, with that being said everybody, I have some work to do. I think I'm going to have to take Joni back in to get more water. She's doing a lot of cleaning because she's going to have to try to sell that rig. Because she has to get something else and it's, it's cheaper to get something else than to try to get come up with eight or nine thousand dollars to fix that car thing. Love one another guys. If you don't, I'm gonna come through this camera and we're gonna have a discussion. No, I'm just playing with you. Alright, say goodbye Joan. Randy, mobile traveler.